and they know they know do, do, do they know what we're going that's going on with yeah us and they know and like yeah and In terms of like movement, how far how far can can Sandra move like in the chair? You should try not to move too much uh -huh. because it'll but keep she the glare changed? out of your ah okay yeah, yeah. Your other glasses, glasses okay. especially. But if she like shifts position or whatever, that's not a big deal, right? Yeah, I just have to be on it and try to adjust. Okay. okay. Can I move my hands? Yeah, though? absolutely. No, you should you should talk as you normally would. So if you want to use okay. your hands. You know, however you would normally answer is fine. Okay. I, I was just asking Steve, like, how much room you have to, like, oh, okay. adjust your chair or, like, move, you know, like, move like that or whatever. So I guess what he's saying yeah, is that's a pretty tight focus. If you so. could not move too much. Yeah, do, I'm all great like reset, this. You know, that's, yeah. that's not a problem. Okay. Okay. So, um, Sandra, maybe you could just start by um, stating your name and, and saying which development you live in. And for how many years you've lived in the community or and or the, the, the development? Let me introduce my name. My name is Sandra Garcia. I live in the Warren Street uh, projects. Uh, I've been living there for seven years. The reason why I'm living there, because I used to live on Baltic and Smith, and the owner was selling the building, so I had to move. So since I was on the list of getting into the public system, that's where they put me on Warren Street. So I've been there s seven years now. And previously, when you lived at, at Baltic and, uh, and Smith, how many years did you live at, at that address? Over 40 years. Oh, so this would be a trick question. That's where you say, I lived at my old address over so, 40 years. Oh, 40 years. years. Yeah, instead of just over 40 okay. years. OK. Can you try that? I've lived in, in that community, in that, in that apartment building, over 40 years. And. Were you, how did you, how did you first come to like Gowanus Borum Hill area? Like when, when were you, like how old were you or what were the circumstances under which you came to the community? So I was at low income, I lost my job. I wasn't working. I had to get a place to live for me and my husband because my husband is disabled. So I signed the application. They called me for the interview and I ended up in April of 2010. I ended up in Warren Street houses. And could you talk a little bit about um, how the area around Warren Street houses has changed uh, in the time that you've moved in, uh, you know, seven years ago? There's been a lot of changes. They have taken out grocery store. They have taken out the laundry mats, uh, pharmacy. We have an issue with that because my husband used to go to that pharmacy in Walgreens on Third Avenue. Now we have to go more distance to go to targets or we have to go on Fifth Avenue for his medication. And why do you think, um, what do you think is driving those changes? Like what do you see replacing those businesses that you, you know, like the Walgreens and some of the other? Well, I see the rezoning and that's the problem that we're having now. But my issue is what's gonna happen with the people that are living there right now? what is gonna happen with them in the future, what's gonna happen with their children in the future and, and in the area itself. Could you talk a little bit about, um, and again, just like pretend that I never, I never even, I've never been to the area and I've never even heard of it. Could, if you were explaining it to somebody who's never been there before, can you explain what happened with the, the bodega, the Chinese takeout place and the laundromat on Third Avenue near St. Mark's Place? It was an easy passage to go to these places every other day because usually I used to go to the 99 cent store. It's no longer there, it was closed three weeks ago. The Chinese restaurant, if you come home late from work and you wanted to get supper and have it ready, you will pick it up and go home. You can't do that anymore because it's not there anymore. So they're doing a condo there now. So we need these small, low income, you know, for people that have lived around the area and need these places because if they pu put more expensive places like supermarkets, like Stop Shop, senior citizens, they can't all the time cross that Atlantic Avenue because sometimes they don't have a home attendant or a family member to take them to shop. These stores were eligible for them to shop in those stores.
And could you talk a little bit about the um, the bodega and the laundromat that was at that site? Did you use them, or how well? I how used the they, laundromat. How, let me let me just ask um, if you could answer like first about your usage of those stores, and then maybe you could also answer about like how other people in your development or how people in your community use those stores. Mm -hmm. I used the laundromat twice a week. And one day I went in t to go to do my wash, and it was no longer there. It was closed. They said out of business. So I had to look for another place. I have to go on 4th Avenue to go wash clothes now on the two-way street on 4th Avenue. And how about for other members of your community? Could you talk about like what the loss of those three businesses meant? And maybe it's maybe a big loss, especially for the senior citizens in my building on 572 and 574 Warren Street, because there's a lot of senior citizens. Some of them don't have nursing home, uh, home attendants. And uh, sometimes they ask friends or family to go wash clothes for them or to go to the supermarket or go to the pharmacy to get the medications. And it's a loss for everybody, not only me, for, for the neighbors, and especially the seniors. So um, I want to ask you, like, you know, again, why do you, why do you think it is, why is it that um, we have our businesses that have been threatened for years? Um, why do you think it is that, that they're, you know, just now, some of them just now are being, or over the last five years, have been in particular, like been going out of business. Uh, why is, what do you think is the, the, the reason for it? Well, my idea is that they wanna, um, all these buildings, all these condos, uh, they wanna make more money. They wanna increase the economy. And my, my, my well-being, um, What's gonna happen with the people that are already here around the areas? East New York, Williamsburg, Gowanus, White Gulf. What's gonna happen to all this if they just take it down and rebuild or just, you know, leave it as it is? What's gonna happen to all of us? That's mainly what the people are worried about in New York City. Can you talk about, uh, could you even just say something like, um, uh, sorry, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm distracted because it's just loud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she talks loud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was okay when well. the guys were talking because it's like a low cut out. That's what it is. Yeah. Maybe she's losing her hearing. It's Zuli. It's, uh, what time is it anyway? Because actually, I. It's almost three. Almost three. All right. This meeting is set to end at three, so oh. who knows if it actually will end. But <laughs> um, can we reserve the room for three? So as long as it doesn't have to. I have actually. Can you reserve that room? At yeah, three? yeah. Okay. So it will. So, we'll just so it won't happen again. But so we'll just occupy that. Uh huh. We might as well just move in at three, because I'm quiet tonight. Well, I mean, we could stay here. Oh, no, no I see. Out. Yeah, no, no. Or we could paint. I already, right. had, uh, to be honest with you, I already asked them to move from this room over to that room. Oh, that room. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, I didn't want to, you know, I wanted us to have this okay. space. All right, so hopefully we'll only have the problem for seven more minutes. Okay. Um, What do you what do you think, Sandra? Like, if you could if you could talk to the mayor, um, if you had an opportunity to talk to the mayor and ask him to do something about specifically about the shops in the area um, that are affordable to people in your community, what would you tell the mayor? I would tell the mayor, what guarantee you give us if you're going to replace everything? What are you going to leave us with? That would be my answer. And if you could tell him, like if you had the, the power and the control to actually put, you know, put what was needed in place, like what would you do? What would you, what would you make sure remained? I want it to remain, the laundromat, 
the pharmacies, supermarkets that people could go to the supermarkets and they can buy anything they want to uh, buy in there because right now you see in the supermarkets the groceries are increasing. The value of the groceries are getting so expensive that you don't know what to buy anymore inside the grocery stores. So I suggest grocery stores, the laundromat, and a beautiful big pharmacy, especially for the seniors. Yeah, can you talk about the pharmacies that were in the neighborhood and uh, how much difficulty it is now that they're out? Walgreens was the closest one that people would go and get their Talk to, no, talk to me. Talking. Oh, oh, um, <laughs> I get it. You got a bug. Okay, okay, I'm saying, wait a minute. Well, he's talking, he's going. Okay, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, basically, Walgreens was the closest one to everybody in the area. And once they started saying that they were going to close it down, we didn't believe that we were going to close it down. But at times, as I seen people coming and checking, I said, it's going down. So when they closed it down, people were saying, my God, where am I going to get my medicine? So they have to walk Fifth Avenue, Targets, or Fulton Street. And tell us again, like, what is the, let's say I'm somebody not from the neighborhood, you know, and I'm like, well, what's the big deal? So you have to walk like one or two more blocks for a pharmacy. Who, who is that a problem for? Why is that a problem? Why is there a problem for who's not in the area? Because they don't live in the area. We live in the area, and we want to safeguard everything that goes on in this area. The community, the people, the seniors. I mean, everybody, you know? So I would tell them that. Can you just say something about... Um how much difficulty it presents to people now, now that they don't have the pharmacies nearby? It's difficult for them to get medication, especially if they need it right away on an emergency basis. Like my husband, he just had a problem with the pharmacy, and he's switching pharmacies because they weren't doing his account right, so he has to change pharmacy. And he got, they get so upset when you don't get your, your medication on time and you need that medication so that's why I'm saying that we really need that pharmacy nearby. Not far away, not a bus ride, not a train, but nearby at least a block or two. That way they can get the medication. That's good. Do you have any more questions? I don't, actually. I think, okay. I think, that, I think that covers it. Um, what about um, restaurants? Have you noticed restaurants? Restaurants. We could use restaurants only when it's emergency that you really have to go into a restaurant and get some dinner or lunch or whatever. But supposedly, it's more important in this neighborhood because I'm with the seniors. I love to deal with the seniors, you know. But the restaurants, yeah, we need restaurants most of the time. But what we really need is the pharmacies, the supermarkets, and the laundromats. Yeah. Uh, what about... Um Inexpensive restaurants at the close. Inexpensive in restaurants we could use also, you know. I do go into the Spanish restaurants on Third Avenue or the one further up on Union Street. So, you know, if they could leave those, that'll be fine. Let me, let me ask you, I'm going to ask you to answer that question again, but in a different way. Could you, could you name the businesses that you feel afraid for? Like, what are the businesses that you think are, are maybe threatened now that are still here that you want to see kept? Can you name them? Well, I, over, I overheard that Target is going to be let go. I don't know if that's true. Targets or uh, the smaller um, stores. I don't really go because I shop sometimes online, so I don't really shop, but Target is the number one that I really go into. I don't want to see that go. You know, the Atlantic Mall, those stores are very sufficient for people in the area. Can you, can you just, you mentioned that, just on the thing of restaurants, you mentioned the restaurant on 3rd, the restaurant on Union. On Union saying, Street. Could you just say, could you just say a sentence or two about how, like, I'm a, I'm, 
I'm worried that, you know, we're going to lose. And I'm leave. worried to lose those stores in there and those restaurants because as I see across the street, they're doing a lot of condos, buildings, and all kind. So if they do one side, definitely they're going to start dealing with the other side of the street. Apparently that's happening now. Can you just, and can you name those restaurants? What are their names? At the Cordora on, on uh, Union Street and uh, the pizzeria that's there. I don't know the name of it. All those. The, there's a 99 cent store also. I don't want to see those little stores go because I go into those. And other people do. When they come out of the train station on Union Street, they go right inside there. And what about on 3rd Avenue? What was the name of the Spanish restaurant you were referring to? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Lanos, isn't it? Something like that, yeah. Near St. Martin's, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. So those are important little restaurants that we could still use and need in the area, you know? But if they take all that away in that area, we'll just have condos, buildings, and it'll be gone, just like they did on 3rd Avenue. Should they have a law that they should require a bodega every three blocks? Yeah. <laughs> that would be. I was just talking to the owner from 3rd Avenue. I think that's going to be up also. They're leaving out of there also because they want to buy out that whole 3rd Avenue and do condos. Oh, the building where across from where they do Yes, the in the corner. Oh. I'm curious actually about the store owners. Have you like talked to any of them? Yeah, I do. The one on 3rd Avenue, the grocery store in the corner on 3rd Avenue in St. Mark's. Okay. Yeah. They and they did because they had both stores, grocery stores on one side mm -hmm. where they're building now. So I asked him, are they going to buy you out, uh, he says, pretty soon they will, because my friend, she had the beauty parlor, and she's gone, because she used to do her hair there. So little by little, they're taken away from the neighborhood. Well, she got bought, the beauty parlor got bought out? Yep. Can you say that, the beauty parlor got bought out? The beauty parlor got bought out. Wow, was that Maggie or Mar Margie? Margie. Margie. Yeah. Just listening to you talk about it, Sandra, it really seems like almost all the businesses that we're talking about are either Latino businesses, Latino business owners, mm -hmm. or business owners that businesses that cater to the Latino community. Yeah, it's all all generations, all cultures are being let out on this rezoning thing, you know. And to me, it, I see the difference. I've been in New York City almost 50 years. I came here when I was six from Puerto Rico, and uh, I see the difference. A lot of difference, a lot of activities going on in the area. Everywhere you go, there's condos, and the big department stores are coming in also. So that's why the small businesses are letting out. Do you feel like it's a planned attack on the Latino community that's been here for a long time, that to, to push out the, the Latino community that's been here for Not a long time? Not only them, it's, it's, it's all the cultures, you know, the Hispanics, blacks got also, you know, small businesses also. What's happening with the immigrations now also, um, Arabs got their companies also, restaurants, you know, all, all cultures are going through the same thing. Not only Latin, but yeah. That's all I can say about that. All right, should we switch places? Let me change the How did I do? That was great. Oh, that was you did great. great. I thought that was awesome. You think so? Well. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you get, did you get pictures? Did you, yeah. 